Today I am covering motor vehicle collisions and where to put your vehicle when you approach a scenario in which there is traffic flow. So let's go ahead and assume that this right here is a highway and this is the vehicle accident. So the vehicle accident. First off, if you're the very first person on scene, you're the first responders, the best place to park your vehicle is directly behind the accident about the accident about let me write this down 50 feet away from the vehicle accident all right 50 feet away from the accident right here and you want to park your vehicle at an angle with the wheels turned away from the accident the reason for this is that if you're the first on scene you don't want anybody else to hit this right here all right you don't want to make it worse so by you putting your vehicle right here you're gonna absorb the shock you're gonna absorb the damage if anybody else does hit you and by putting it at an angle this will make the vehicle go away from the accident so it'll go this way so that's the reason why you want to put it behind the accident and at an angle okay 50 feet now, we're only going to park at 50 feet if there is no hazardous material, no gas, no fumes, nothing like that. If that's not present, we're going to park at 50 feet. Now, if we see any kind of hazmat, gasoline, uh, unknown fluids or gases, we're going to park it 100 feet. Very important, right? So, this is if you see some kind of possible hazard, this is with no possible hazard seen at all, okay? That's what's going to define whether you're going to go 50 feet or 100 feet. Now, ideally, so what I just went over was just where you want to park your car if you're the very first on scene. But ideally, I am talking to EMTs in these videos. Ideally, you want the, the big fire truck to be parked behind the accident. That way they can absorb the shock because they're really big vehicles and not much will happen to them, right? And you want the rig, the ambulance, to be parked in front of the accident, facing away from the accident. The reason for this is that it's going to make extrication a lot easier. So you can put your patient on the gurney, that's a gurney in case you don't know, and then just quickly extricate them if you have to and that's the reason you preferably want the the fire truck behind the accident we call it upstream and then downstream so think of when i'm saying upstream and downstream this confuses uh quite a few people so just think of a hill and you're on this side of the hill right this side of the hill the water is going to flow downstream because gravity is going to take it downstream. And upstream is where the water is coming from. So water source. Water source. And this is how, how I remember what upstream and downstream means, right? And this is just going to be downstream. So when we're saying upstream, think of a hill and it's where the water is coming from because gravity is taking it down. Downstream means this way so we're talking about the flow of traffic here in case you don't know so the flow of traffic this way is downstream because the gravity is going to take and carry the water downstream all right and it's coming from upstream hopefully that helps some of you I know a lot of my a lot of my students have a hard time kind of understanding this until I uh, explain it in this way maybe it helps you out if not if you want more clarification, like always, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you ASAP. I always do. Um, hopefully you guys got some, got some value from this um, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.